Hi guys, it's Uncontrollable RC, and today I went to a local hobby shop and I picked up some um, upgrade parts and aluminum uh, Traxxas parts for the Stampede here. And uh, I'm going to show you how to install them and tell you why I think they are superior over the uh, plastic. Um, so the first part we bought was the rear axial hub carriers. Um, they do come with these really nice sealed uh, Traxxas bearings. And are, they're really nice for the system because they're sealed. No water or rust or dirt is going to get into the bearings and screw them up and uh, make them run poorly. So that works out really well. The aluminum blue um, color out of aluminum, uh, anodized. And here's the number for it. 3652A is where I got is the number off of that. You can buy them on Traxxas online or your local hobby shop will carry them. I like these better than the plastic because the plastic, flexible and stuff like that, <clears throat> and these have the uh, bearings, they're included. Whereas these are brass sleeves, pretty much is what they're, the best terminology is for them. They're not very good for running on these axles. Um, the bearings are going to be nicer, they're going to slip less, and they're going to be uh, a lot smoother, so you're going to get less friction with the... Um, the bearings for the, the at, for the drive shafts coming out of the transmission. Um, so they're just going to be a lot better. Uh, for the vehicle, you're going to get less friction, so that means more power to the wheels. You're not going to lose power. And these are really nice and tight compared to the plastic, which I feel are... Um, they, they produce a lot of slop in the rear. And the tires jiggle a lot on the, uh, the spindles off of the axles. So I think they're these are better. They, they don't create as much slop as the uh, originals are, and they're going to be a lot better for the vehicle. Um, so then the next thing that we... I'll show you how to install these. I already installed one already. I don't know if you can see that, but that's already one installed on there. Not very hard to do. It takes me about 10 to 15 minutes to install, to, 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 to tear down the old one and to install the new one. So I'm going to take you guys off the tripod here, and then uh, I'll show you what they look like close up. Alright, so what you guys are going to want to look at now is this right here. They are they're very nice to install. They're very easy to install, and don't take a lot of time at all. Um, these were about, I want to say $28, I think they were, at the hobby shop. So fairly expensive but they uh, they're real easy and to install them they're gonna save a lot of time and performance if they can stay on the the lift um, so here's the what I want to show you guys it's really 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 important that you have this piece right there uh, it's that black ring that sits right there that black ring is very important it's a spacer between the um, the pin there and the bearing. So the pin is not actually spinning on the bearing um, and it creates a spacer so that if the bearings are loose inside there, which these are, uh, they're not loose like as in like they jiggle around, but they're loose, they can slide in and out real easily. That creates a spacer so that it's tight up against there and the bearings aren't going to be able to come out while you're driving. So that's a very key important part. When you're tearing down the old one, you're going to want to make sure you have that. Uh, that's very, very important for this. And then it comes with, um, I upgraded the turnbuckles here for better, uh, so they're not a lot of flex. I'm trying to get as, mu as rigid as I can so that it's um, really strong when it comes off of jumps and lands and doesn't break or do anything like that. So I upgraded the turnbuckles. They, the turnbuckles come with a threaded screw. I'm not sure, I can't remember if the originals are threaded or if they are the plastic um, kind plastic threads on them. But either way, um, if you upgrade that, you're going to have the threaded screw ready and it's going to fit directly into the aluminum um, axle carrier. But if you don't have the threaded, the, the fine threaded screw to fit into this aluminum, take the aluminum piece to a hobby shop or to a hardware store and they should be able to help you match up the screws that you need. I would recommend stainless steel if you're going to be running it in snow or water or wet grass. Uh, the rust is going to get on there and corrode it. It's going to make it really hard to get out later. If for some reason you need to. So I would recommend doing that. Um, getting it nice and um, 
stainless steel. All the screws on here, except for a couple, I believe, are all stainless steel, so they're not going to rust. Um, so it's going to be really, it's it's a really nice feature to have the stainless steel. So the next thing is here's the uncompleted side with the side that doesn't have the new uh, carrier on it. As you can see, the turnbuckle and the drive shaft sit freely on there. And then what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to take your old drive shaft or the, the drive shaft and slide it back on. Okay. Make sure it's almost all the way down to the, the end, the bottom of the drive shaft, of the very the back drive shaft, so that it sits nice in there. Then what you're gonna do is what it just happened to the there's the bearing. Yeah, like I said, they slide out pretty easily, um, but when you're running, they're not going to. If you have that, make sure you kept that uh, spacer piece. Now what you want to do is slide that on, and make sure you have your drive shaft threaded through there, so that it sits on the other end. I'm going to set you guys down real quick, and I'm going to install this one, and then I'll show you how it looks like, alright?